My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Check this out, a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner in Rally Green. That was a special springtime only color. This car was born Rally Green. It has its original fender tag. It's a 383 automatic. Also unusual is bucket seats in a console. Most time Roadrunners were pretty basic cars and had the bench seat with the shifter on the column. This car has been rotisserie restored. The underneath is just as pretty as the top. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures. And that's where you find prices on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You will be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, just a sharp looking car. Uh, one of the companies that we use to help detail cars when we get too busy uh, sponsors a big cruise night and they asked if they could take a car. We let him take this to the cruise night. He said it drove fantastic. There's over 800 cars there and this is right in a prime spot. Uh, but anyway, underneath the car is beautiful. It's all nice clean metal, the frame rails, the floors, the uh, rockers, even up behind the uh, tires here, it all looks like factory. They might have replaced it, but they replaced it with correct metal, no patches, nothing uh, undercoated over. It's all beautiful, clean metal, painted the same gloss, rally green uh, color. The entire suspension has been rebuilt. The whole front end, not only is it new bushings and shocks and springs and all that good stuff, but it's all detailed. All the components are painted and look like new. Same thing in the back, the leaf spring, shocks, all that's been replaced. Uh, the fuel system's all been replaced. The tank, the straps, the sending unit, the fuel lines. The brakes have all been redone. Uh, new hoses, new fuel lines. The e-brake assembly is all hooked up. Uh, it is drum brakes all around. They work great. Uh, it's got a correct dual exhaust system that looks new has the chrome tips, the flared oval tips uh, that these come with. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still spotless. It's not the original VIN number matched motor, but it is a correct replacement. The casting code's right on the side of the block, dated 1969. Uh, it is a 727 Torque Flight Automatic Trans. That also looks brand new. Uh, an eight and three quarter rear end in the back. So I don't know if I forgot anything, but under this car is practically brand new. The body on it is really nice. It's straight, fits nice, shows really well. I just went around the bottom. I always feel for any bubbles or imperfections. It's smooth all along the bottoms. Car is straight, no dents, no damage, no rust. Now with that said, it's not perfect either. Uh, the paint job, it is metallic, and you wouldn't know it at all right here, but you get out in the bright sun, uh, and the metal flake is a little bit blotchy. It's a little bit darker in spots than others. You see it out in the bright, bright sun. You don't see it at all right here. Clear coat finish is smooth and glossy. You know, the reflection of the light fixtures, it's, it's just like a mirror. But again, with that being said, because I sell to all different types of people, uh, if you're super, super fussy and you look close, there's a little, like maybe a piece of dust was in the paint or a little imperfection. I think I seen a touch up on the front edge of this door right here. Uh, here's a little bump right here in the black. So there are minor imperfections if you look for them. You walk up to the car, it's like, wow, is that nice. It came with the dual stripes on the side. Uh, they're reflective stripes. It also came with the black uh, hood patches. I really like the red detail here and the little uh, scoops or whatever you want to call them. It has fender mounted turn signals. They look new. Bumpers re-chrome. The grill looks like it's real good original. Correct new antenna. Windshield is new. 
Got the Roadrunner right here. The vinyl top is new and in excellent shape. Door handles look new. All this trim is buffed out. It's straight, shiny. It all looks really nice. Original rear window has some light scratches like they typically do. The icing on the cake is the Magnum 500 wheels and the radial redline tires. They are new within the last few years. Gorgeous, really look great on this car. Tail lights and back bumper uh, look new. So inside the trunk, we got a working trunk light, all metal. I'm assuming they put in a new trunk pan because it's perfect. Uh, they did a nice job. I can't tell where they put it in. The quarter panels look to be original. I checked, I don't see any cuts or splices. And it's all painted rally green. The jack assembly is all restored. It does have a spare tire. Uh, the tire has never been used. Uh, new seat divider, new weather strip, new trunk mat. So really nice trunk uh, compartment. The interior is really very nice. Again, bucket seats with a console. There's new cushions in the seat. I hopped in there. It's the first thing I noticed. You sit on a nice firm seat. The motor compartment's real nice. You'll be proud to open it at the cruise nights. See the whole engine bay is all clean, straight, square metal, painted the gloss rally green, and all the components look restored. Everything on the firewall is restored. Uh, the washer bottles hooked up to the hoses. You got the beep beep Roadrunner horn, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Uh, the original fender tag is here. I did decode the tag. Uh, the car is born like you see it. <clears throat> the VIN number is stamped on the core support that matches the car. And it's proper. The wires are run neatly. The battery's bolted down. The alternator looks new. It's an aluminum radiator. Runs nice and cool. So the carpets were replaced as the complete set of uh, original seat belts. The center console is not new, but it's a very good original. The lights in the console and in the headliner work. The headliner is new. It does have some wrinkles in it. The whole dash area is real nice, not cut, not broken, not beat up. The original AM radio is in its place. It has the factory tachometer in the dash. So overall, the knobs and everything looks good. It does have two gauges down below, probably oil and temperature. Door panels are real nice. The black metal is repainted. The dash pad is excellent. Armrest, everything in there is really nice. Steering wheel is real nice. So the motor itself runs real good. You'll hear it at the end of this video. Uh, it has stock manifolds, valve covers. Uh, the air cleaner assembly is correct and it's new or it's restored. Uh, the correct four barrel, the correct fan, the alternator looks new. Uh, it has power steering, I think I forgot to mention. So everything in here is just honky dory. Like the latches, the rubber, all real good. So this is a rotisserie restored, beautiful car. New sill plates, new rubber, painted door jams. It's not at that $100,000 trailer queen uh, national competition type restoration, but it's a really nice car. It'll be one of the best cars at any cruise night. So there you have it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you talk about it with them. They'd be happy to help. They can also get this delivered to your driveway, and they can help you get financing. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.